Well, thank you for tuning in to our video here on how to crop, resize, and sharpen images using Corel Paint Shop Pro version 6. I happen to like Paint Shop Pro. Uh, it's about one-tenth the cost of Photoshop and has about 90% of the capability. Okay, here's an image we've taken. It's uh, Hocking Hills, a nice waterfall. It's already been enhanced a little bit, making the water blue. But this is not appropriate for competitions because it is way too big. So before I'm going to resize it, okay, I'd like to crop it. Now the crop tool is on the left. There it is. It's the fourth one down. It's this crop tool. If I click on that, I get my crop square, hash marks, whatever. I can move it around any way I want. I guess I happen to like, oh, that dimension there. So in order to crop it to this, I have the little bar on the top. I have a little check mark. I'm going to left click on the check mark. Okay, my image has been cropped. Now it's still too large for competition, so we need to resize it. Now to resize it, I'm going to go up here to Image on the top menu bar, pull down menu, and we'll go to Resize. If I clip on Resize with the left mouse button, I come up with a dialog box. Now, right now I have not checked the advanced settings. If you want to check for sharpness and things like that, you can. I'm personally going to leave this alone here, not use advanced settings. Um, right now, you can see the width and pixels is way too large. I have it locked here to keep the proportions the same. So let me try putting 1024 here on our image width, 1024. Okay, now we see our height automatically changed to 736. Now the maximum height is 768. So that works very well for us. Okay, I'm just going to hit OK. Oh, my image got quite a bit smaller because it's been resized. I like to use a scroll wheel to zoom. And I can see that it's been cropped and it has been resized. Now it's not a bad looking image, but you know, I know we can make this a little better. So this is optional, but I happen to like adjustments on here. So I go on the top bar, I will left click on adjustments, and we can see we have an option down here for sharpness. Now I happen to like unsharp mask. So I will left click on unsharp mask, and it has check preview on image. Um, what we now is we've got a radius here of 3, strength of 77, and a clipping of 3. The clipping, you want to keep that a fairly low number, 3, 2, something like that. Now the strength, okay, we can go and we can make it stronger. And if you see your image, you'll see some change when I go up or down. So strength, I usually like to leave about the middle. Maybe, um, oh, maybe 129, something like that. That would be good. There we go. This way it isn't quite so pixelated in there. 80 I think is good for there. Now the radius is what makes the biggest difference. I'll just clip this up a little bit. Give it a moment to refresh. And we can see we've gotten that a little bit sharper. It's almost too sharp now. So if I go down to 0, or almost zero. You can see it's quite a bit softer, maybe a little too soft. So show what you do is you go with for about a two. In this case here, I might go here for maybe a two, 2.2 2 maybe work just fine. 1.2, here we go, 2.2. Now that looks pretty sharp. So I'm going to hit OK on that. OK, my image has been cropped, it has been resized, and it has been sharpened. So you can zoom in on that. That looks pretty good. OK, after doing that, we need to save it. So if we go to the top bar, and we hit File. And here you want to go to Save As. Now my original picture here, OK, was a TIFF. Uh, we want to save this as a JPEG, but obviously this is not going to work for a name. So this is going to be a nature competition. 
So we're going to put N. It's color. So I'll put C. And then we'll go EH, because that's my initials. We'll go 0, 2, 1, 3. And I'm going to go um, Hawking. And I'll go Waterfall. We have no spaces, but if I want to ch I put a separation between the words, we use a capital letter. And it's automatically will be saved as a JPEG. You can save it in different formats. As you can see, quite a few here. But in order to uh, so, uh, apply it to our competitions, we need a JPEG. Now we have options here. And I use the compression factor of 1, which is the lowest compression, best quality, which is what I want. If I use that highest compression, okay, we do not get as good of an image. So go for, for your lowest compression, best quality. And we'll hit OK. And we hit Save. OK, well, thank you for watching. That's how we crop, resize, sharpen, and save the images using Corel Paint Shop Pro. Look forward to seeing your images in our competitions. Thank you again for watching and have yourself a good evening.